हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर निमिषा जादौन फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ स्टडीज इन्वायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री जीवाजी यूनिवर्सिटी ग्वालियर टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ मॉड्यूल इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री इन पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल अंडर द पेपर ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल एनालिसिस द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इंक्लूडिंग द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री then the various application of electrochemistry and the different electrochemical techniques for the removal of pollution from the environment first of all we are discuss here about the what is electrochemistry electrochemistry is the study of chemical process that causes electrons to move this movement of electrons is called the electricity and which can be generated by the movements of electrons from one element to another in a reaction known as oxidation reduction or the redox reaction a redox reaction is a reaction that involves a change in oxidation state of one or more elements when a substance losses an electron its oxidation state increases thus it is oxidized and when a substance gains an electron its oxidation state decreases thus be reduced and hence the electrochemistry is a combination of flow of electron with the application of voltage it refers to electrochemical processes involving electron transfer to or from a molecule or ion changing its oxidation state this reaction can occur through the application of an external voltage or through the release of chemical energy the oxidation and reduction describe the change of oxidation state that takes place in the atoms ions or molecules involved in an electrochemical reaction formally oxidation state is the hypothetical charge that an atom would have if all bonds of atoms of different elements were 100% ionic an atom or ion that gives up an electron to another atom or ion has its oxidation state increase and the recipient of the negatively charged electron has its oxidation state decrease a modern cell stand for electrochemical analysis here this picture shows the modern electrochemical instrument for the analysis of uh, various pollutants and the other material the electrodes attached to high quality metallic wire and the stand is attached to a potential state or the galvano state a short glass shaped container is aerated with a noble gas generally a nitrogen and it is sealed with the teflon block this is the picture of potential state or the galvano state which is used for the analysis of uh, various metals pollutants environmental contaminants and the some pharmaceuticals and many more in this cell this is the three electrode system in uh, where the agag cl is used as a reference electrode then the graphite rod is used as a counter electrode and the any glassy carbon platinum gold and the other metal ion indicators are working electrodes are used as a working electrode at the surface of the solution the electrons are uh, migrated between the working and the reference electrode and it, it is measured by this galvano state is uh, used for the various electrochemical measurement techniques like square wave voltammetry stripping voltammetry then differential pulse voltammetry amperometric coulometric and many more 
there are various extremely important electrochemical processes in both nature and industry like the coating of objects with metals or the metal oxide through the electrode deposition and the detection of alcohol in drunken drivers through the redox reaction of ethanol the generation of chemical energy through the photosynthesis is inherently an electrochemical process as is production of the metal like aluminum and titanium from their ores certain diabetes blood sugar meter measure the amount of glucose in the blood through its redox potential as well as the established electrochemical technologies like deep cycle lead acid batteries there is also a wide range of new emerging technologies such as fuel cells large format lithium ion batteries electrochemical reactors and super capacitors that are becoming increasingly commercial electrochemistry has also important applications in the food industry like the assessment of food or package interaction the analysis of milk composition the characterization and the determination of the freezing end point of ice cream mixture and the determination of free acidity in olive oil is also done by the electrochemical techniques electrochemistry provides technologies that have definite advantages than the above conventional method the electrochemical methods are versatile and offer not only clean but very cheap method or the technology to determine the various pollutants and it also considered as a cleaning technology of the pollutants the utility of the electrochemical environmental techniques are expanding with the understanding and development of the electrochemical engineering that lead to design and development of novel electrodes and cell structures the invention and large scale availability of improved polymeric and perfluorinated ionomers membranes have totally changed the purification and separation processes the electrochemical analytical methods and the sensing techniques are playing an important role in pollution control water quality upgradation by electrochemical techniques presents various alternatives such as anodic cathodic direct and indirect method to treat any type of contaminants in water and wastewater these methods at the point of entry of pollutants into the environment help not only to remove the contaminants but also to recover and recycle useful chemicals the electro remediation of contaminated soil is now a proven and the viable technology to prevent the pollution of water at the point of contamination itself the role of electrochemistry to environmental applications is expanding due to the characteristics of electrochemical processes versatility energy efficiency environmental compatibility and cost effectiveness are the major uh, uh, important role of the the major important role of electrochemistry as a application in the environmental sample analysis now we discuss about the electrochemical water treatment processes the electrochemical technologies for environmental applications can be broadly divided into two categories the number one is physical that included electrodialysis electrocoagulation and the electroflotation and the second one is the uh, chemical that involving direct reaction 
एट द इलेक्ट्रोड और एंड द इनडायरेक्ट रिएक्शन विथ अ रिएजेंट जनरेटेड इलेक्ट्रोलाइटिकली नाउ वी डिस्कस हियर द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल टेक्निक इलेक्ट्रोडायलिसिस टू फॉर द इन्वायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन अपेटमेंट द इलेक्ट्रोडायलिसिस इज अ मेम्ब्रेन बेस्ड प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्विंग द सेपरेशन एंड द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स और द डिजोल्व सॉल्ट कंसेंट्रेशन बाय द इलेक्ट्रो माइग्रेशन ऑफ द स्पीशीज थ्रो आयन एक्सचेंज मेम्ब्रेन्स एनायंस एंड कैटायन एक्सचेंज मेम्ब्रेन्स आर अरेंज अल्टरनेटिवली बिटवीन टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स व्हिच इनेबल आयंस टू पास थ्रो वन टाइप ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन व्हाइल द अदर मेम्ब्रेन ब्लॉक्स द पैसेज दस क्रिएटिंग अ सेट ऑफ concentrating cells and dilution purification cell the electrodialysis process are most frequently used to purify the water before it is used for the industrial purposes because this technique is used as a advanced wastewater treatment processes because is totally deionize the water and which is suitable for the very uh, important analytical application here in this picture this shows the working principle of electrodialysis system this picture shows that in the electrodialysis process there is two electrode the one is anode and the another one is cathode and in between these two electrodes there is an barrier of the cation or anion transfer membranes so that as this system is filled with the pure water or the waste water then the ions that are present in the waters is migrated towards the anode or cathode when we applied a small potential so that the water which is uh, trans the when the ions are transported during uh, at the anode or cathode they are passing through this cation or anion transfer membrane so that all the ions are trapped in the membrane and the purified water is uh, uh, passed through the another chamber from where it is collected so that the by this technique we can totally deionize the water for the further processes the cellulose acetate membranes are conventionally used in electrodialysis stacks and polysulfone and polyacrylonitrile and polyfluorosulfonic acid type of membranes are some of the new membranes presently in use the water to be purified in circulated through the dilution compartment and the dissolved salts that concentrated in the stream through the concentration compartment the electrodialysis process has important application which including the production and supply of potable water from the brackish water with typical salt concentration of 1000 to 3000 mg per liter recovery and recycling of metal ions such as in plating industry effluents of water recycled salt removed from the industrial effluents for water recycling and the removing electrolytes from non electrolytes solution and the salt splitting uh, is also carried out by using the electrodialysis for example in the recovery of sodium hydroxide and the sulfuric acid it requires one pair of electrode for each pair of membrane so that by this technique we can recover some valuable products or the metals uh, which is present in the waste water now we are discussing here about the method electroflotation and electrocoagulation the electroflotation is a process in which the gases generated at an electrode like oxygen and hydrogen forces the suspended impurities to the top of the solution where they are collected and removed 
this effect is partially by the neutralization of charge on the colloidal particles by virtue of their proximity of the electrodes and partially because of the tiny gas bubbles generated at the electrode the ratio of the bubble to the suspended particles must close to unity for the effective electro flotation and the pulsed electro generation of bubbles and reported to yield bubbles of optimum size the alum is conventionally used as a coagulant instead if the aluminum ion or the ferrous ion is produced at the anode these can react with the hydroxide to produce at uh, hydroxide produced at the cathode generated aluminum or the ferric hydroxide that will precipitate absorbing the pollutant this process is known as the electro coagulation the hydroxide precipitate thus produced has been found to be more effective than electrically produced hydroxides and also electro coagulation produces more compact sludge these two processes when combined are reported to result in 99% removal of suspended matter and 99% reduction of chemical oxygen demand and 91% reduction in biological oxygen demand and 100% removal of inorganic contaminants and 100% decoloration this picture shows the working principle of electro coagulation process in this figure you have seen that there is a two electrode that is performing the anodic or the cathodic processes and in between the two electrode there is a chamber where the waste water is transferred for the electro coagulation process when we add some coagulants like alum then they are ionized at the anode or the cathode and then this aluminum species react with the pollutants which are present in the water as a suspended particles which are not removed by the normal treatment procedure and these ion when they it is trapped by the aluminum species then the electro coagulation is process is carried out and the flux is formed these flux are ionic and when they enlarge their sizes then the by the force of gravity these flux of the ions is settled down at the bottom of this chamber and along with that the water is classified water is uh, circulated and purified by gaining the electron from the anode or the cathode and the clear supernatant water is collected from the another chamber then this process is known as the electro coagulation process the next is the direct electrochemical processes in an electrochemical cell the anodic reaction is oxidation it means dissolution in the case of soluble anodes and the cathodic reaction is performed is known as reduction under the appropriate condition these two reactions can be effectively exploited to removal of pollutants from the water or the effluent now first we are discuss here about the anodic processes cyanide destruction is an important example of direct electrochemical oxidation used for effluents from electroplating industry the process is more suitable for effluents with high cyanide concentration in this process the cyanide is oxidized to cyanate which is much less harmful the cyanate then rapidly react with the alkali generated at the cathode to produce ammonium bicarbonate sodium carbonate 
and ammonium hydroxide. The oxidation of chromium 3 plus ion to chromium 6 ion that is trivalent chromium to hexavalent chromium is commercially adopted for the recycling of the pharmaceutical, electronic and the aerospace industries. The second processes is known as the cathodic processes. The permissible metal ion concentration in water and the effluent are in the range of 0.02 to 5 milligram per liter whereas water from the various sources contain unacceptable levels of metallic impurities. The reduction of these metal ions to their elemental state by the electrochemical deposition is a convenient and the cheap method for purification. The metals are deposited in the strippable form so that they can be recovered as a sealable product. For solutions of fairly low concentrations, electrolyzers with two dimensional and three dimensional electrode structures and a variety of mass transfer enhancement methods have been developed and successfully operated. Thus, processes for removal and the recovery of copper, lead, mercury, zinc, silver, chromium, etc. are in the practice. Now, the next process is known as the indirect electrochemical processes. The direct electrochemical oxidation or the reduction may not be possible in certain cases due to the limitation of the required potential for driving the desired reaction. Under these circumstances, it is advisable to identify a suitable reversible or irreversible redox system that can be efficiently generated and allowed to react with pollutants. Examples of such redox pairs are iron ferrous to ferric ions, magnus or magnetic ion, silver ion, chloride to hypochlorite ion, etc. These reactions can be made to occur in situ in the electrolytic cell itself by maintaining a low concentration of the reactant redox intermediate or externally by generating high concentration of the reactant in an electrochemical cell and reacting in an the external reactor with the effluent to be treated. Apart from these electrochemical pH adjustment is an efficient and cheap method of neutralization of acid and the alkaline waters and effluents which simultaneously help in precipitating certain metal ions such as iron, calcium, chromium, magnesium etc. without the need of external chemicals addition. The next method that we are going to discuss here is the electrochemical disinfection of water. Usually disinfection is carried out with chlorine, bleaching powder or hypochlorite. The basic chemicals Chlorine itself is an electrochemical product from which the others are produced. Even if chlorination is done, hypochlorite is the effective reactant in more instances. The electrolytic chlorination or the hypochlorination is a simple, cost effective and the on-site process which eliminates the transport and storage of the gaseous chlorine. User-friendly portable chlorine and the hypochlorite generators are available for water and the effluent treatment plant. The next method that we are discussing here is the photoelectrochemical methods. In the recent year, the photoelectrochemistry has led to a new and interesting possibility 
for the treatment of pollutants from the wastewater. In this case, the suspensions of semiconductor particles, mostly TiO2, titanium oxide uh, nanopowder, can be used to harness the light with production of electrons and holes in the solid which can destroy pollutants by means of reduction and the oxidation respectively. In this way, the water containing organic, inorganic or the microbiological pollutants can be effectively treated. The best example of photoelectrochemical uh, deter, uh, tre uh, treatment of wastewater pollutant including the removal of various dyes that are releases from the textile industry uh, is uh, uh, effectively done by the photoelectrochemical degradation of these dye and the various type of pharmaceutical pollutants can also be eliminated from the water by using this technique. Now we discuss here about the electrochemical advanced oxidation processes. In the case of industrial and the agricultural wastewater treatment, chemical oxidation is often necessary to remove organic matter like biodegradable or not that consumes oxygen dissolved in water. The oxidations by ozone or hydrogen peroxide are methods used as complement or in competition with the activated carbon filtration or the nano filtration. But in some cases, the conventional oxidation is still inadequate and remain inefficient. Moreover, the conventional oxidation treatments as well as biological treatments prove ineffective against certain types of organic micropollutants. To eliminate these kind of pollutants from water, more powerful processes namely advanced oxidation process have been developed. The advanced oxidation process are based on the in-situ generation of strong oxidizing agent hydroxyl radical and their high oxidation power. The use of hydroxyl ion in the treatment or the remediation of contaminated water is justified by the number of advantages that included that they are not toxic because having a short lifetime, they are simple to produce and use, they are very efficient to remove organic pollutants and they are not corrosive to the equipment. Along with that, they do not induce secondary pollutants and the final products of oxidation are carbon dioxide and water and inorganic ions like mineralization process. At the end of this module, we can conclude it that electrochemical technologies offer simple, efficient and cost effective solutions of environmental problems and in certain applications uh, superiority over conventional cleanup processes have been demonstrated. The superiority is due to the fact that by itself electrochemical methods do not require any external reagents for pollution treatment. Simple user-friendly processes can be designed with the help of latest advantage in electrode and the cell design technologies. Thank you so much.